basically what we need to remember here in simple words which you'll understand through the transistor level diagram is suppose there is an intersection this is your output of the decoder which we will call word line as we go ahead and this is where it intersects with your NOR so wherever at the intersection a transistor is present which can turn on a zero value would be written there we'll understand this as we go ahead and all the other places where there is no transistor present at the intersection of the rows and the columns. Right now, don't get into the output of the decoder and all that. For simplicity, just remember there is a row and there is a column. At the intersection of row and a column, if there is a transistor present, the value 0 would have been written there or it would have been programmed to a value 0. And wherever the transistor is not present, a value 1 would be written. Fair enough. Let's quickly go ahead and complete it for one more row. See data for row two that is y2 let's do this d3 d2 d1 d0 so let's see y2 yes present y2 present y2 not present y2 present so d3 it's present so it's a zero for d2 it's present so again it's a zero for d1 it's not present so it's a one and for d0 it's present so the connection is present so it's a zero you'll understand how do we get this it's very very straightforward right now just remember this what we have done and remember this shortcut trick which i have told you and that should be enough okay let's go ahead and revise some other basics as well here on your circuit i have shown you a zero nor which we have discussed quite in detail when we discuss zero circuits we know that the expression or the functionality for nor is nothing but y equal to a plus b the whole bar we generally tend to hide the bar whatever is below the bar becomes my pull down and the above part exactly opposite to my pull down if they are connected in parallel here in series above would be the PMOSes and that would give me a static implementation however in Zudo we discussed that the pull up would be replaced by only one PMOS transistor which will always be on so this is nothing but a Zudo NOR where the pull down is connected in parallel between the output and the ground remember this so if you look here what I have done again the Zudo NMOS which is same like this this is my output node and in the output node I have connected a transistor A with an input A and another transistor with an input B it did not be always that I have to draw parallel like this only does that make sense here also this transistor has and this transistor has this node as common and this also in common so they are connected in parallel with inputs being different the same thing I have shown here as well. So they are again nothing but zero NOR circuits. Remember this because this will help us in understanding NOR based ROM array.